Three million years from Earth, the mining ship Red Dwarf. Its crew, Dave Lister, the last human being alive. Arnold Rimmer, a hologram of his dead bunkmate. And a creature who evolved from the ship's cat. Message in. Additional, our biggest enemy is going space crazy through loneliness. The only thing that helps me maintain my slender grip on reality is the friendship I share with my collection of singing potatoes. <laughs>
rockets that would, could eventually break the pull of the Earth's gravity and fly out into space, which at the time was seen as wild eye fiction, but in today is really just seen as a, a common everyday fact, like putting up satellites. So you have to keep in mind when we see things in the future, or see things in fiction such as Star Wars with the light speed drive or Ridge Warp and things such as white holes, it's currently false based on the information we know and understand. That doesn't mean it won't always be false. So, for example, a lot going faster than light is currently impossible, but it doesn't mean it'll always be. And our current understanding of a black hole is that it's simply a singularity, or as our book describes it, an incredibly compacted object rather than a tear in space-time. And there you have it, a video that, that shows reality versus fantasy. I hope you enjoyed this video made by John Andrew Grillo, a man with an IQ of 6,000. Yeah, right on. Is that what he told you? Well, what is it then? It has a six in it, but it's not 6,000. <laughs> what is it? Six. <laughs> How come he knows all the answers to questions about science and space and that when we ask him? He consults a book. It's all his information on astronomy, phenomenology, and physics from a single reference book. What's the book? The Junior Encyclopedia of Space. <laughs> it's the only one he could find which had pictures. Ha, 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 ha.